Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the Bitcoin chart here for all of you. We have just seen a bit of a move to the downside as you can see, but that does not scare me. That really does not scare me. I'm going to be going over this chart, how I have been trading this and how I will continue to trade this on a beautiful Sunday morning. I hope that you are all well. It's nice and sunny outside. I'm going to do this technical analysis, give you an update of how I'm trading and uh, you know, I hope that you appreciate this one. Well, then I'm going to go and enjoy my day. Uh, I guess I could start off by saying, you know, well, I have an international audience, so I should start off in an international way. I guess I can say, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you are all very well. I can also say, bon dia, buenos dias, guten tag, bon dia, which is Catalan, and I obviously started with bon dia, Portuguese. Um, what else? Uh, bonjour. <laughs> Ça va. Uh, ça va bien, merci. Well, we're going to start. So then, uh, that, that's, for my, <laughs> that's for my international friends across the ponds. Uh, so let's, let's start off here by looking at the Bitcoin chart. Obviously, it's whew, nice rise that we've seen. Obviously, you can see, I'm going to go over why this was an important support, which, madre mia, very nice indeed. But obviously, we've been forming a very nice range, haven't we? As we can see, uh, it's really been grinding up very nicely recently. But we can know, obviously, from the lows, back up to the highs, back up to the lows, back up to the highs here which is originally coming in around 10,440. Uh, you can see we obviously, you know, I've covered this in a bit of detail prior. We had that bearish Gartley pattern, which hit point D. We obviously came all the way down to take out the lows and you took the lows and then you're obviously searching for the highs. You have made your way back up to the highs. You swing for your pattern, the first high here. And then this is where I can catch you up on really. Um, so it was after, you know, what are we doing here? We're, we're stopping everyone at the lows. We stop everyone at the highs and then you come and you find balance and try and find support. Uh, so this is what I was telling my to my team. I, I must say, um, I have read this market very well indeed. Let's be honest. Um, I was originally looking for another push to around 10,650. We'll cover that later. This was the pretty nice thing that I was uh, going over. Obviously, you know, pr prior to it happening, I do a daily update every every day, Monday to Friday, uh, for the contenders and champions, where I post my really simply key horizontal support and resistance levels so i give what i believe is the most important resistance and important support of the day and i had recognized prior to this that 10200 was the very important support and this is a support level where we can see lots of different technical confluences coming together and you know i am a big preacher of saying there is no 100% guarantee in trading. If anybody speaks in absolutes or anybody believes that they are definitely right, that's when you have to walk away because that is going to lose you money. I am very much a trader that will say, I can always be wrong, but I trade with the highest probabilities. So I do factor this in when I am looking at these levels. And this was the beauty that I recognised this 10,200 level uh, to be great support <laughs> with the little wizardry here uh, as we actually came down you know, later in that day, two hits, literally 10,200 to the dollar. So that was, that was a good take. Um, and how I actually got into that trade was uh, was at 5, 5 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and this is what you call like, I must say like dedication, dedication to the cause of trading, that sometimes you do have to sacrifice your time uh, <laughs> to, um, to wake up and take those trades. So what I was seeing at 5 a.m. there was the hit of 10,200. And that basically, you know, was the execution. That's what I wanted. I wanted to see the back test of this level. Firstly, I put in the hard work, recognizing that that was an important support. OK, and then after seeing my important support level hit, it was then having the execution to take the long. And as you can see, same day while we were around 10,200 saying I would like to take it for a swing around 10,650. I was also updating everybody that my stop loss was uh, 10,120. So that's then execution of the trade. It gets you the entry, it gets you the stop loss, and then obviously looking for 10,650, which we haven't hit at the moment. Um, you know, the, the question always is, are we going to keep grinding up here or is it time to head down? Um, you know, that's what we can decipher throughout the day. OK, it's for me, the way that I will trade this now is really, really, really nicely is I have taken another percentage of profit this morning. 10 percent, you know, not a massive amount, but I'm, I'm, I'm content with a weekend like this. And uh, what this is going to bring us up to is, um, well, it's going to bring us up to ultimately uh, a, a, a open tonight, which is going to be. 11.30 p.m. GMT uh, plus one, <laughs> where I'm going to be looking for the futures open. OK, so we're going to open the futures tonight. We're going to have a, a you know, obviously, the, you know, let's say I upload this video and we've already dumped all the way down here. Well, then we'll have a gap to the upside. 
but as it stands right now we are going to have a gap to the you know to the upside sorry and if we you know if we dump here then we'll have a gap to the downside and so the gaps are what we look at with the futures market to recognize as we can see we can come over to the, to the chart here the futures closed at 10,350 so as you can see at 11 o'clock sorry tonight we will have the futures open again and that is naturally if we let's say we open where we are now 10,500 we're going to be opening around here and then you have this gap that people are going to have their eyes on people love the gaps okay um so yeah, that's some, something to be aware of that you have a few gaps on the futures chart that, that people are going to be trading off of myself i'm not overly bothered of the gaps i'm not like a one of the i'm not really a gap trader yeah we can use it again as another step of confluence but you know i'm, I'm not i'm not a gap trader i'm not going to tra trade primarily only for gaps but nevertheless it's something to be aware of like definitely <laughs> um so yeah my my plan is fairly simple uh, okay as i was writing yesterday morning and this would have been while we were around um you know while we were around 10,290 um still really really simple um you know same as yesterday which was obviously still in the long position uh given the stop loss and i'm not going to manage this today and, and that's actually my plan again for today's being sunday I, I don't want to manage this trade um i'm very much turning into more of a swing trader to be honest where i like to get good entries and I actually like to then leave the trade and, and leave it alone for a little bit. I, you know, be that a day, be that a, be that two days, be that a week. It's so it's such a relaxing style of trading. To be honest, it's really enjoyable. Um, and and so yeah, swing trading is it's becoming easier and easier. Uh, or not necessarily easier and easier, but just a different style of trading for myself. Um, you know, it's 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 just so much more relaxed i've always said this like swing trading is so much easier than scalp trading scalp trading is something that requires a lot of time a lot of attention full focus you know you have to be really in your zone whereas swing trading you still have to be in your zone to find the levels but then once you've executed the trade you know like this what i took that long on what was it friday and you know friday to now hitting sunday i've not had to do anything you know i've taken a little bit this was my post this morning at 8 30 you know checking in still long took some profits you know got to pay myself in case we head down and um you know still looking for 10650 if we don't reject 10800 obviously if we reject then still important support 10200 um but you know we can build ourselves up as you can see here we are now building a low high higher low higher high higher low higher high this could still be a higher low to build up the trend or alternatively we're going to go low lower high lower low lower high lower low and we're going to start changing our trend here so i think the trend is really important when you are swing trading to follow the trend okay if you're in a long you know for it such as myself at the moment i don't want to start to see a bearish trend form because if that happens well the way that i would likely manage this because again i'm not really going to be at my computer today i, I don't want to be uh, so the way that i will manage this is set alerts okay to set an alert what i can do is just right click on the chart add an alert okay create that alert and what i can do is it's a really nice position where if my alert goes off okay let's say that i recognize then there's a sign of weakness i know if my alert goes off the trend has changed so what i can do <laughs> really simply is go onto my phone uh either take you know take 50 percent profits because profits profit I, I don't care if i don't short the high to be honest and then i'll come back later tonight and review the chart okay uh obviously if we start breaking through several key levels especially that important support well then naturally i'm going to be more inclined to take a short position but if it's just more of a liquidity grab and then we catch and actually regain local trends well i'm still going to be looking 10 650 10 800 you know 10,800. um so it's it's i hope you can see my style of trading here so how it really began so it began by putting in the work to recognize key important support levels and there was a joke there was a joke that we put in the group um oh yeah obviously i like give feedback on people's trades and it, yeah uh, but there was I, I can't remember what i was saying now but it was basically like um the technicals actually were pointing down and i wrote in the chat saying um it was like my intuition slash gut feeling slash spending several hours a day with the chart that made me recognize let me try and find this because it i think it will be insightful for you um da -da 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 -da. I'm just trying to try and find this. Uh, might not be able to find it within time. Uh, no, never mind. Uh, it's too hard to find while I'm in the video. I don't want to waste your time. But basically, I was I was basically saying um, 10,200 was sort of the middle of the range. And I was feeling as if we would get the push to the upside. And it was 
obviously based on a certain amount of technical analysis, but also this sort of intuition and gut feeling that you get with the charts that, you know, you have to remember that when you are looking at it like this, obviously it's easy in hindsight to say that was a good long, but when you're looking at it like this and the chart is like coming down quickly, this scares a lot of people, okay? And so it's it's having that, it's having that experience, it's having that just confidence to take those trades and obviously it re rewards you. But, you know, that's the emotions that play in the market <laughs> that you just have to deal with. Uh, so yeah, th that's today's video, really. I just wanted to talk you through this trade, how it was originally found, how I've then gone on to manage this. I think there's been some good insights into this trade um, and how I can look to manage this again. I'm not trying to be the hero that's going to try and shorten it as that top. All I'm in is, a, you know, I'm in a long. I'm looking to obviously take it as high as I can take it. But, um, you know, I'm not going to say this is the high, this is the high, this is the high. I want to see evidence on the chart that there is a high in. And then I will react again. It's not. It's meaning I'm not taking 100% of the move. But if I'm getting the middle 60 to 80% of that move, I'm more than content. And if I can do this consistently every day over time, then obviously you know you end. That's how you make money trading. It's not by getting lucky on one trade. It's not getting lucky on 10 trades in a row. It's being consistent over 10 years. You know that that's what I strive for and, and what I want everybody to strive for that follows me you know we aim for consistency over time it's not just a one-off lottery you know um so yeah i hope that you've enjoyed this video as always i would always appreciate a like down below if you are so kind young ladies and gentlemen or older or everybody anybody watching this i would always appreciate a like it does help support the channel um, helps, you know, get out, get out the reach to how I am helping you can help a, another person. So, um, you know, I would appreciate that if you feel so kind or if you have not enjoyed this video, because undoubtedly I cannot please everybody. I've just come to accept that. If you haven't enjoyed the video, then, you know, absolutely give it a dislike. And if you want to give constructive criticism, then, you, you know, I'd appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, thank you, everybody. Have a brilliant weekend. I'm not going to spend so much time on the charts here. I'm going to go enjoy it. And I'll come back later tonight for the ice. I have got a Champions live stream tonight. We'll be back for the Champions live stream. That's when I'll take my next trade. Until then, going to enjoy the sun. Uh, so, yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant day and take care. Cheers.